Let's take a look at how we can correctly input scientific notation into calculators. And one of the most useful features of a scientific calculator for chemists is the EE function. It will show up as a single E in the display, and if you don't have a TI calculator, I, it, will, it might look um, like EXP. What all of these mean, EE or E or EXP, they mean times 10. So let's look at inputting scientific notation using this EE key in your calculator. So on my calculator, the EE key is a second function. It's right here. So to access it, I've got to hit second function. And then when I hit EE, it shows up in my calculator as an E, and it means times 10. Now we will be dealing with negative exponents. So we want to be clear that the subtraction symbol or the subtraction operation, which is right here, is not the same as the negative symbol we would use in a negative exponent. So if I wanted to input 1 times 10 to the minus 4 in my calculator, I would punch in 1, and then second function to get the EE, then EE. As soon as I hit EE, an E shows up in my display, and it means times 10. Then I hit this negative symbol and a 4, and this is how 1 times 10 to the negative 4 shows up in my calculator using the EE key. Now the reason the EE key is important to use is it keeps the power of 10 with the number. So let me just bring it here. The EE functionality keeps the number of 10 with the number. And let's look at where that could be a problem. So Let's look at this division example. We have 8 times 10 to the minus 6 divided by 2 times 10 to the third. If we enter this into our calculator the way that it is actually written, so here I have 8 and then times 10, and then I take it to the power, which is this little caret symbol, times 10 to the negative 6, and I use the negative symbol, not the subtraction symbol, and then divide by 2 and continue doing that times 10 to the third. The correct answer to this should be 4 times 10 to the minus 9. However, if I input this into the calculator in this way, um, oops, hold on a minute. Okay, here it is right here. I, I didn't see this. What the calculator actually does is it takes 8 times 10 to the minus 6, it divides by 2, and then it views the multiplication of 10 to the third as a separate operation. So it only divides by 2. It doesn't divide by that power of 10 to the third. So you're going to get the wrong answer. So here's an example of the display of inputting this power of 10 just using the calculator keys. The answer, it's a little unclear here, but it says 4 times 10 to the minus 3, and that's the wrong power of 10. Because what it's done is it's divided by 2 and then multiplied the answer by 10 to the third. So if instead we do 8 EE negative 6 divided by 2 EE 3, then we get the correct answer. So here we see 8, and the way that I entered this into the calculator, I hit 8, um, and even though I hit 0, .0, the calculator doesn't really recognize the difference between, between 8 and 8.0. .0. And then second function, EE. -E. I don't hit times EE, -E, I don't hit times 10, and then E, I just hit 8, second function, EE. -E. So we see this up here, 8E, -E. then the power, which is negative 6, so negative 6. Then I hit the function of division. And then 2, second function, EE, 3. The EE, remember, means times 10. Then when I hit equal, I get the correct answer, which is 4 times 10 to the minus 9. Now, my calculator is displaying my answer in scientific notation. Sometimes it has to do that, but I have programmed this calculator to display my answers in scientific notation by hitting second function and then this button, and then I have the choice of selecting uh, SCI, which means scientific notation. If you have a scientific calculator, you should have the option of doing that. If you have a graphing calculator, you can go into mode 
to change the expression uh, to scientific notation. Now, an alternative to using the EE key is placing all of the values in parentheses. So 8 times 10 to the minus 6, we put that in parentheses and then divide by 2 times 10 to the third. That way we can use the multiplication symbol and then the 10 and take the 10 to the actual power. I find this to be really cumbersome and if you forget to put a parentheses, then you'll get a syntax error and it can really be time consuming. However, I want you to do whatever, um, what, I want you to use whatever method feels most comfort, comfortable to you. But the EE key is by far the most convenient and the most effective way to handle powers of 10. And that's one of the reasons why I want you to have a scientific calculator for this course, because it allows the mathematical manipulation of power of 10 um, to occur so easily. I hope this is helpful.